Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Barb Mitchell coming to you from virtual PTC 21. Joining me today is Felix Seda, General Manager of NJFX and Sarah Kurtz, Business Development Manager for NJFX. Welcome to JSA TV, both of you. Thanks, Thanks Barb. Barb. So for any of our viewers who may not already know, I mean, you guys have joined us so many times in the past, uh, you know, we're great friends of NJFX, but for any of our viewers who may not know, could you just tell us a little bit about uh, NJFX as an organization? Sure, so uh, NJFX, we own and operate a purpose-built tier three uh, cable landing station slash co-location facility. It's located in Wall, New Jersey. Um, with direct access to multiple subsea systems going across the Atlantic to both uh, Europe and Latin America. Um, so as NJFX, we sit right in the middle and we play a prominent role in uh, connectivity uh, between the three continents. Um, obviously, we have uh, other uh, partners who take you out to uh, the West Coast and the, uh, and the Far East as well. Um, but yeah, that's, that's a little bit about NJFX. And Felix, you know, here we are, we're back, back at PTC. I say back, um, it's a little different this year, although it feels like you're, you're there. I mean, it yeah. looks like you're uh, sitting on the ocean front there. But you know, it's a new year, with a new year comes new goals. What's the latest for NGFX this year? Yeah, so uh, 2020 was, was, uh, was obviously a, a, a weird year for all, but for, for NJFX, um, you know, we, we did great. Um, we had a, a, a wonderful year in terms of uh, growing out, uh, continuing to grow out our ecosystem uh, and, and gaining new strategic partners along the way. Um, and 2021, that's, it's, it's the same continued focus. Um, you know, 2020, uh, we had the new Hapru AEC2, AEC2 cable that went live. Um, and that cable goes to Denmark, Norway, and Ireland, um, providing a bypass from New York City, um, interconnecting directly from NJFX to Europe. Um, and that was a big uh, milestone for us uh, in terms of, you know, creating the, the connectivity hub that we've always envisioned um, at NJFX. Yeah, nice. Things never slow down for you guys, do they? They're always moving forward. <laughs> I yeah. love it. No matter what, they always seem to be uh, moving forward. So. Always, yeah. So just, uh, you know, another question on a sort of a different note, but I'm curious about your work with PTC's membership committee. Can you tell us what that looks like? Absolutely. So uh, last year um, at PTC, uh, I did, along with Sarah, we did a, an event called Millennials and Telecom, and it was our first time doing it um, at PTC. And it was really to create a informal environment um, for a lot of the uh, members in the industry. Um, you know, one thing that we, I think many people have started to realize is that we need a new influx of, of talent and people looking at our industry as a whole um, and wanting to be involved in our industry. And so Millennials and Telecom, we did it alongside uh, P the PTC committee. Um, and we did an informal session at, at, in, in our uh, meeting room suite uh, in Hawaii, where we invited everyone who wanted to be part of it and who was interested in, there were, there were younger people in the industry who joined, who wanted to, I guess, learn more about how they could be more influential leaders and have more of a voice in the industry. And then we also had a lot of experienced veterans in the industry who wanted to be a part of it and sort of be mentors to the uh, you know young the young talent that's that want that wants to be developed along the way, um, so we had a, a a good sort of symbiotic relationship of both sides of uh, of the industry, and so this year we're we're looking to continue the, the same thing. Um, I'm working closely with the, the PTC membership committee to help bring in new members as part of the PTC organization and also our industry. Um, and I'm also, alongside Sarah, we're also doing something with the Sabatic Committee. And we are part of this group called the Diversity, Belonging, and Inclusion Working Group um, that's, that's similarly focused on, on a lot of the same <clears throat> issues that we try to target with millennials and telecom. 
Um, and we're actually speaking as part of the Suboptic uh, Committee, the, our, our working group uh, at this year's PTC. So it should be interesting and we encourage everyone to join. Uh, the focus is going, the focus on this particular uh, workshop is going to be on mentorship. Um, and, and we've established, we're, we're establishing a, a mentorship program and we'd like everyone in the industry to be involved, to be involved, whether they want to be a mentor or whether we have people who want to be mentees. So. Right. Yeah, great. Sarah, I'd love to hear you weigh in on that. Sounds like you're involved in, in both PTC and Suboptic. Uh, can you talk about sort of just your thoughts on that? Absolutely. Yeah. So kind of to reiterate what Felix said, um, and since I'm one of the younger ones, probably that you're interviewing <laughs> at this year's PTC. Um, yeah, last year I was lucky enough to go to Hawaii with Gil and Felix and the NJFX team. Um, and it happened to be this inaugural Millennials and in Telecom event, which was great for me to be a part of. Obviously, I fall more into the mentee category, um, being only in the industry for about a year, year and a half now. So seeing, you know, whether it's the industry leaders or the younger talent that was able to join us at PTC um, all come together. I think there's a great push um, right now for, again, young talent in the industry, and I'm happy to be a part of it. And then, you know, again, in hand with that uh, goes the Suboptic Diversity, Inclusion, and Belonging Working Group, um, which is, again, industry-wide. It seems like everybody kind of has the same mindset, um, and I'm very happy to be a part of it from the NJFX standpoint and the industry as a whole. Yeah, it's so great to hear from someone like yourself who is not only involved, but, you know, and benefiting, but can also sort of comment on the importance from your perspective, you know, of really, you know, who these groups are targeted at um, and how it can really benefit the whole industry for years to come. I mean, it's such, such an important initiative. It was great to see uh, PTC doing that uh, this time last year, as you said, the inaugural and uh, great to see that you're part of it and NGFX is part of it. So, um, Back over to you, Felix. Um, can we talk a little bit about how interconnection has become so critical uh, recently? I mean, obviously, it's we've said you know it's been a big year that's driven a lot of these things. But but how's NJFX addressing that for the global community? Yeah, I think we touched on a little. We touched on it a little bit before, right? Twenty twenty has been such a, a a crazy year for for everyone involved, and um, you know, obviously, it's. Uh, it's presented its challenges, but I think with that came opportunities as well, right? And I think those opportunities have presented itself on the connectivity side. Um, and we're starting to see a lot of networks become a little bit more strategic in terms of how their, their network connectivity uh, basically is, is, is assembled, right, on, on, on their end. Um, and I think for 2021, you're starting to see a lot of these networks who have done things, I would say, you know, it's, it's I would say the old antiquated way of, of connectivity, um, going back to a lot of these late legacy data centers that have been around. Um, um, and I think what you're starting to see is a, is a, is a, major, is a major shift away from uh, a lot of these legacy data centers that are, that are located in urban environments. Um, and for these networks to be a little bit more strategic um, in terms of their network diversity and resiliency. So we're working closely with all of our partners. Um, you know, we, our focus in the, in the beginning in terms of our ecosystem was on developing a legitimate marketplace between terrestrial and international subsea carriers. And we did that. And now our focus is mainly on that next level, the CDNs, uh, the enterprise, the financials of the world. Um, and Sarah is, is doing a great job for us in terms of uh, working with all of the different financials for them to be a little bit more educated and understand all, the, all of their different options when it comes to connectivity. Yeah, and if I could snowball on top of that, with my work with financials, um, you know, they're, they're really trying to get a hold of how exactly their network works to ensure that you know they never go down and as they start to do that the hope is you know maybe next year when we're all back in Hawaii uh, we can start to bring some of them into this group um, more formally and they can join us in Hawaii and have these conversations as they figure out the next level of their networks. 
Right. Yeah. Everyone's looking forward to that, that <laughs> next elusive moment where we can all get together and talk face to face. Right. Um, and, and, you know, until then, you know, we, we want to make sure that people can connect, you know, um, virtually. So where can we direct our viewers to, to connect with you or to find more information? Yeah. If you're at PTC, Felix and I are both registered. So feel free to ping us on the platform. We're always happy to catch up with old friends and make some new friends. And then obviously you can visit our website, njfx.net, or shoot us an email over to info at njfx.net and we'll be in touch. Fantastic. Thank you so much, uh, Felix and Sarah. It's always such a pleasure to, to speak with you. Uh, and thank you viewers for tuning in to JSA TV and JSA podcasts. Happy networking. Thank you.